Hello everyone, it is Jacob here and I promise you a video about how to progress through the Frost Spirit uh, Iris build and which items are the like main pieces and like the low budget into the mid budget into the high budget into my hero version so yeah I will go through that in this video and hopefully it will go smooth like I have the builders prepared and I will post them in the description of the video so you can take your information from that and let's go through it so what are the core pieces that you really need to be able to play the frost iris um, the core piece is the memory definitely you want to get the three second one which is not as cheap as the four second one but will help you a lot with your gear in later on so I would rather like save up for the three second memory which should go for around 2.2 or 2.5k now so save up for that and buy the finished product rather than going with four second one and struggle with uh, cooldown reduction and such so yeah just save up Run your seven maps. Run your tier seven maps fast with the lightning build that I showed you, and save up for this. It shouldn't be that hard. So yeah, that's the main piece here. That's the costly piece, costly piece here. So yeah, two point five k. Then you pair that with the friend nemesis armor, which. That's another core piece basically and you can buy that really cheap like the base versions goes for tens of FEs so yeah uh, these two items are the core and you want to pair those two with a cooldown reduction winter of origin preferably get the 20% one if you have enough currency already for the corrupted one get 25% get one and that's it for this slot and you want to also pair that with tier preferably tier zero cooldown recovery speed mod on your stuff so those are four pieces that you want to get and let's go through the rest i'm at the at the beginning i was still using four piece of the set which helped me a lot with my resistances early on because the set provides a lot of resistances actually it also pro provides plus skill levels and it also provides you with the growth mod on rings so you can stick with those for a long time and plus skill levels as i said and on the helmet i was just going for anything with energy shield just to get more energy shield more survivability and on the boots I managed to get this really cheap if you cannot get boots with cooldown and cold skill um, just get boots with cold skill or cooldown doesn't really matter later on you will want both on them basically cold skill and cooldown recovery speed and energy shield I also focus on energy shield on the boots as well to get me more defense for the skills I will not go, thr go through them I've gone through them in the last video of the final version so uh, yeah uh, the build is right here uh, for the slates you want pretty much plus uh, plus levels for your spirit magi so at least plus one to something that boosts your spirit magi which would be a spell skill Spirit Mag Magus skill, uh, Minion skill, uh, Cold skill, yeah, you get it. You can even get plus two on some of the slates, like you can get plus one Spirit Magi, plus one Minion on t on machine slates. You can get plus spell and plus cold on knowledge, and so on. <coughs> so yeah, plus skills and for the belt to function if you don't get a version like this that gives you free focus blessings and requires free focus blessings for the additional cooldown recovery you want a source of uh, additional focus blessings which i have somewhere 
here own one additional stack of focus blessings if the belt would require four i would have the fourth here if the belt would require five then there is one other mod that gives you focus blessings and i cannot check it here i guess can i check it uh focus <coughs> Oh, not on this one might be on this one this one own one additional stack of focus blessings and chance to gain focus blessings so that's on goddess of knowledge divinity so yeah you can get plus two from slides basically <coughs> So that's for the entry point and in the entry point since you are not uh, so so since you do not have uh, the exquisite box yet you need to get the cooldown reduction somewhere else so instead of steel vanguard you are picking warlock and you are getting uh, indifference here basically so that's that's it here and the skill trees will be here as well uh, next upgrade after you get all this set up the next upgrade would be uh, getting your uh, getting your wind catcher action which automates your f skill so that's the main upgrade in the next stage of the build you are still using warlock you still don't have uh, the you still don't have the exquisite box and i also swapped the gloves for plus one spell skill and some energy shield and resistances which boosted my survival ability and with that i had to swap my rings as well because losing the fourth mo fourth uh, bonus of the set loses you a lot of resistances so you need to make up for that somewhere so I got uh, two rings with growth mod and elemental and erosion resistance mods on them and you can even go with the elemental destruction curse on one of them so yeah those are the, ba the main upgrades here and the next stage of the build would be this one where you are finally getting your exquisite box uh, Actually, I did not mention what maps could can you farm with those. Uh, this, if you get stuff like this with cooldown recovery, spell skill, level, a chance to deal double damage and additional spell damage. I mean, those are not cheap, but if you get one of those, you can start farming 8 uh, or even 8.2 maps. So that's for this setup. The, this setup stays pretty much the same, but uh, is, uh, makes your fingers go a little bit easier since you don't have to tap your uh, spirits or your F skill as much and gives you mo more damage through the max nourishment stacks so 8 still time mark 8 uh, but faster and smoother and for this you can actually start going 8.2s and even 8.2s deep space if, if you want to and yeah you are basically farming for exquisite box and once you get it you can swap warlock for steel vanguard and get your aura effect and empower effect uh, like passives here boost your survivability and boost your damage a bit as well so that's the main upgrade here the exquisite box uh, in the next stage I've upgraded my stuff uh, so this is the a basic stuff which you can get for like I don't know maybe 500 of these uh, this stuff you will have to craft yourself probably those are not on the trade and I will have a, or maybe I already have a video on how to craft that on my channel so you can go through that uh, yeah and just to get uh, even more damage uh, swapping from the old stuff 
to this stuff provided me with 100% more damage and I even paired that with the fin crown just to feel a um, little bit more comfortable in 8.4 maps with the crit chance actually so yeah so that's the mine upgrade here voodoo stuff crafted it crafted it for like 3000 fe's uh, fin crowns are cheap uh, once you are in this stage of the build um, where you have thousands uh, FEs of worth of gear on yourself like another 300 FEs for fin crown is nothing right so yeah and with swap into the steel vanguard you might want to get a little bit more cooldown recovery somewhere so that's where you want to like try to get 25% additional cooldown recovery on your winter of origin belt that's another 5% additional cooldown recovery so you might as well go for it for the exquisite box you want the one with empower skill effect and that's it and from now on <coughs> you are farming 8.2 maps fast 8.3s uh, even 8.4s but not as fast as 8.2s and you are farming for my and like hero version of the build with the golden slates which looks like this and that's the build i showed you in the build showcase video the last one so yeah so that's it you can go through the different versions of the builds i will put them in the description i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoying like playing iris it was fun for me and from now on i will be moving to another build which will be rosa for now i will level her to level 100 try to make her a hero as well speed farming 8.4 maps but we'll see i have no idea how rosa plays so if you want to like be a part of it i will be streaming on twitch uh, on my i jacob channel which will be posted in the description and i will definitely make a like uh, level in and time mark 7 map in and time mark 8 map in on her as well so if you don't want to miss that subscribe like this video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one bye